It's Pop Trigger time! Yeah! Hey everyone, I'm Sam Shocker. Thanks for tuning in. Our co-hosts today are very own Brie Esrig. You can subscribe to her YouTube channel at Brie Esrig. I'm loving your new haircut. Thanks. So cute. And also make sure that you guys download your app, right? Yes. Brie oh, Esrig? Yeah, Brie Esrig, uh, available on iTunes, Android, whatever. It's free. Holla. Check it out. Back in the Pop Trigger studio, it's the intern queen, Lauren Berger is yeah. here. Woo! Woo Thank you. And Brett Ehrlich, you can catch him on Declassified. That's the pre-show to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And you can catch me on HLN, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dr. Drew and Call. Tune in. All right, so let's chat with Lauren Berger. You've been on the show before, but we haven't seen you in quite some time. Thanks for having me back. Glad that you're here. You are appropriately titled the Intern Queen. Yep. How many internships did you have? And then how did that lead to your business? And now she has a book and there's so many things going on in, in, in your world, which we'll talk about. But first, sure. how many internships? I had 15 internships when I was in college, Crazy. which sort of gave me the idea to start my own internship website, internqueen.com, a free website for uh, young people looking for internships. And uh, my first book came out in 2012 called All Work, No Pay, all about internships. Chips. And just this week, welcome to the real world. world. Yay. Well, she is an author too. Mm -hmm. That's how are you such a go getter? Like, what do you think motivated you? Do you think it had to do with all of your internships, or do you think you always had that ingrained in you before? You know, I fell in love with this intern queen idea when I was in college, and every morning I wake up. You know, it's been five years now uh, since I started the business full time, and every morning I wake up and I want to go be the intern queen. That's so house. What is so? I started to talk before I knew what I was going to say. Um, but yeah, what is so the intern queen? What do you do as the intern queen? What's your daily routine as the intern queen? Good question. Did you I, need I, to rhyme there, Brett? Yeah, I, I, I found it in the middle. Yeah. It really depends. I travel around the country speaking at colleges. I was just on the road speaking at about 15 colleges and universities all over the U.S. Uh, now I'm promoting my book. I'm working with a lot of different brands and just managing. Uh, we have two websites now, internqueen.com, and then our new site to go along with uh, the new book mm -hmm. is laurenbergerinc.com, which is uh, the second chapter for us. So it's career advice, entrepreneurship advice, and some fun fashion at work content. Ooh, I love that you're giving yeah. entrepreneurship advice. That's because you are an entrepreneur. Yep. That's... Big time. So what was missing from your first book that you thought, or like what developed from that book into this one? So the first book is all about internships, and this new book, Welcome to the Real World, is all about that first, second, or third job. So when I graduated college and went into my first job, my world flipped upside down. Right. My first job was at a talent agency. It was His too. crazy, Terrible. crazy. I think we may have talked about this last what time. What talent agency was it? At Creative Artist Agency. Okay, you were at UTA? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. And it, it was hard. And I remember saying to my friends over and over again, how come no one told us? How come no one told us it was going to be like this? So this book is all the advice that I wish I got about both my professional life and my personal life after That's college. That's priceless. Yeah. It absolutely is. What advice would you give to people that are in an internship and they're hoping that it will lead? Let's say they love working at that particular job. How can they go and talk to them about making them full time? It's all about staying in touch. So my intern queen rule is that you stay in touch with your professional contacts three times per year. So once during the fall, once during the spring, once during the summer, I still think in uh, semesters. How? Like uh, a, would they send should, a little yeah, letter or an send email? Send an email, four sentences long, let them know what you're up to and you don't need to ask for anything. Yes. Hold that until you really need something. So just reach out to people, say hello, let them know what you're up to and I promise these connections are gonna pay off. Keep in touch show that you're supporting them and then when you're ready you can be like hey I'm looking for a job rather than some people they'll just oh who who's this person that works at this job and then immediately tweet them they'll do I've seen it they'll we they'll do weird things where they just think that they can ask for a job without yeah, putting in right. the work and then it just leaves a sour taste in the employer's mouth right. do you have any questions well I just got off the phone with my sister she's graduating from college in three weeks Yikes. and she's really nervous about this one job that she wants but it's she's like I'm not gonna get it because it's for somebody who's been working for, there for a long time and it's a very high up position but I really want something like that and so 
She's a little concerned about that. I don't know how she could go about it. I don't know if you have any advice. Yeah, well, first of all, she needs my book. It will save her some time at least. I mean, I messed yeah. up everything at my first job. So if I had this book, maybe I wouldn't have been so terrible I at my first job. Book. I know. I'm like, <laughs> what mistakes am I making but, right now? Yeah, I, I encourage people looking for jobs to play connect the dots. In the job posting, they're giving you the answers. They're telling you what they're looking for. Yeah. So I would go through that job posting with a highlighter, highlight the buzzwords, you know, is the company looking for someone who's social media savvy? Well, then you print out your resume and it better say something about being social media savvy yeah. on there. So just really try to play connect the dots and connect your experience to what the employer is looking for. That mm -hmm. is such good advice. Yeah. But I feel like we, it just kind of, we, we overlook that. Why? Right. Well, thank God for you. And where can people get your new book? They can get it anywhere, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, on shelves wow. worldwide. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Congratulations. Make sure you pick up your Welcome to the Real World. And then also go to InternQueen.com, as well as what is your new website, Lauren LaurenBurgerInc.com. Awesome, awesome. And we will see you all next time on Pop Trigger.